Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. Before I move on to today's topic, I would like to request you to watch the entire playlist because it will make the concept more clear. Today I will be talking about making curved edges in ComSol Multiphysics. Suppose you have a rectangular section and you want to delete a particular edge and want to make it uh, like this curved surface. So how can you make it that we will be talking about today. So there are several ways that can be done and I will be talk, talking about all the aspects. I will just touch upon all the aspects and then if you just play around you will learn more about making curved surfaces. So let me make it once again. So whatever I have done I just delete it and I will start making from the beginning. So initially let us take a a rectangle or a square let us take a square say the side length any arbitrary length you can choose I am taking 0.5 meter so yeah it is uh, this square and now I want to make a circle here so the best way to do is I go to sketch and take a circle it will be better if we take 0.6 uh, I'll tell because half of 0.6 is 0.3 so choosing the center becomes easier now I take circle from the sketch and yeah this is the center and I make a entire circle sometimes it goes to the other end so let me just change the center the x it will be 0.3 if you change the center manually it will come to your desired place now what I want to do is I just want the upper portion I don't want this line and these two sections also so one by one I can delete it so if you go to geometry you can see there is an option delete so you can just choose one by one or you can just press control and choose all the things you want to delete and then click on delete so you have seen like all the unnecessary portions are deleted and I created this one so this is the I mean one of the ways to do it there are multiple other ways so now for the time being let me delete these portions I just keep the square so other things I am deleting so let me keep the square yeah this is the square now what you can do there are other options you go to sketch there is an option this is the arc and in the arc there are two sub uh, two three sub options like start center and angle i will talk one by one so let us first choose start center and angle so say this is the start and center is here you will see a green line so you can click on here and you can see it's kind of you can change the sector angle so the angle can be changed so from very minimum angle I am moving so now it is 90 degree I will go up to 120 degree, uh, 180 degree so I go here at the edge and then again click on it so it will make this one now again you know what to do uh, I can delete this one so I just select it go to geometry and click on delete so it will delete this part and your geometry is ready now let us again delete it and let us try to play around with the other options because in the in the in the arc itself you have multiple sub options so now let us work with start tangent and end so I start here now it is telling you to make an make an arbitrary tangent so you can see you can vary your tangent if you vary the tangent the nature of the curve will change so let me make this tangent so I click here and see now it is a I mean whatever arc you draw it will create I mean a tangent here I mean the tangent which I have selected initially 
that will be that will be the reference for creating this particular arc now again i don't want this part so i can just delete it yeah so you can see now there is another option which is this polygon type option this is not arc this is polygon so let us look at this also so initially let us create the square yeah then i choose this one under this also you have two option interpolation points initially i choose interpolation points where you can choose several points suppose i click on here then i choose a point here and here so what it is doing actually i have selected three points one here here and here and it has interpolated between these two points to create a nice curve it follows a numerical procedure of interpolation so i am not going into details because uh, this is not necessary uh, with respect in reference to this particular topic so just uh, you just want to look at like you can create multiple points suppose i click on here then here then here and by doing this you can change the nature of the curve okay so let us play around again we can go to the bottom also you can do like sinusoidal it goes up and down so any kind of things you can do with this okay so it follows a particular interpolation formula but uh, i don't know what exactly the formula is because this is not being shown in comsol but you can create your geometry this is the ultimate point apart from this you have option of start tangent and other so i have already mentioned this with respect to the arc this is similar you can just uh, play around it and similarly there are two other options quadratic and cubic so as this is a, a interpolation that is a kind of higher order uh, equation similarly you have quadratic quadratic and cubic equations so you can follow those for creating uh, your curved edges so those are the most options that those that are available in comsol multiphysics for creating uh, this curved edges and these are very useful for making your geometry so today i stop here i'll be continuing with another series in this geometry itself and meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates we are also creating videos on vector algebra mathematics so i'll put those links in the description box and in the i tab please follow my channel for more updates thank you